holding the powerful accountable. Governor, the DEP keep you in the dark. Is the state attorney's office going to enforce the law? And getting results. Steve Andrews is Target 8. Well, for nine years, his pleas fell on deaf ears at the VA. Then Target 8 got involved. And for nearly a decade, a Sebring veteran tried with no success to get the Department of Veterans Affairs to listen to reason. Yeah, he's dealing with heart problems, and he's worried that his wife might have difficulty receiving his benefits if something were to happen to him. Now, the VA refused to change his marital status from single to married, and that's the big problem. And when a congressman couldn't get the job done, this veteran decided he'd contact Target A senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews. Maybe he could help. So did maybe you. he could, maybe he couldn't. Yeah. You know, this wasn't really all that complicated. All it required was for someone at the VA to do their job. Keith and Debbie Addis said their I do's in the 80s. For the last nine years, he's tried to convince the VA he's married. And I was starting to think, there's just no way. They're, they're not going to do anything. Well, we were watching Channel 8 News one night, and we saw your story where you had helped another set of veterans. And so I said to Keith, I says, you know, we need to contact this guy. Keith told me he served in the Air Force in the 70s. He suffered a service-connected injury. The VA now pays him a small disability check. <laughs> I met with Keith and Debbie in Bradenton last week before he underwent a heart procedure. It's become urgent since I got into this heart failure situation. And if something happens, Keith wants to make sure Debbie receives his benefits. But for nine years, the VA sat on his request to change his marital status. All this time they kept saying, well, there's a problem, there's a problem, there's a problem. I go, what's the problem? And they would never tell me. One problem? Someone at the VA wrote down the wrong initial for Debbie's middle name. Keith turned to Congressman Tom Rooney for help. And the congressman's office even said, the VA does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. And it's really not the way it should be handled. I sent an email to the VA November 15th. The next day, the VA sent this letter to Keith, notifying him his marital status was officially changed. The very next day, what a coincidence. Because you had made something that we thought was basically impossible possible to happen and for that I'm very grateful. You helped immensely and I really appreciate it and I want to thank you for that. I'm hoping this makes your Thanksgiving a little bit nicer. It makes it a lot nicer. Hmm. Nicer because he's married and therefore entitled to a little more each month from the VA. And when Keith and Debbie got home from the hospital last week, that letter was sitting in their mailbox informing them the VA had already deposited into their account the money it should have paid him dating back to 2012. Wow. So it'd be a nice Thanksgiving. Yeah, that is much nicer, as you yeah. say. But the VA puts down a wrong middle initial, yeah. and that's what screws the whole thing up. You know, that's all we can find at this point, and, and that, and you need someone who's willing to do their job, wants to do their job. Give credit to the folks at the St. Petersburg Regional Office here in uh, St. Pete uh, for taking care of this one once we got involved. And, you know, I, I think the, the reason this made news is because this was a fix that could have been done in 24 hours and took nine years. It's ridiculous. It ridiculous. Is. Glad you pointed it out. I'm glad it's resolved. Thank yes, you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. And if you have a problem you'd like Steve to investigate, call our Target 8 helpline. The number is on your screen. It's 1-800-338-0808.